Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us in part three of our three-part webinar series on the 15 surefire ways to boost productivity. Today we're looking at the five Dynascape resources you absolutely must know about. Dynascape is more than just a software company. We really believe we've bec we become a partner in your success. We believe that our relationship with our community is really important. You are important to us. Feedback from you is how we get better. It's how we become the landscape professional software solution of choice for so many years. Uh, it's because of your feedback and we are actively responding to that. Our resources are open to everyone and today I want to take you uh, through a journey on the available resources and talk to you about the most important resources that you should know about if you don't already. I'm your host, Joe Salemi, Product Marketing Manager with Dynascape Software, responsible for our sales and marketing team, the development of new uh, enhancements, fixes, features, uh, and those kinds of things within all of the available uh, software applications through Dynascape. Today, uh, in our uh, webinar, we're going to be looking at the five um, resources that you absolutely must know about. We're going to be looking at our blog, our knowledge base, training videos and manuals, online training sessions that are available to you, and our client support team. And we'll give you an inside look at uh, what they do and how they operate. But before we start, um, as usual, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, all three of these webinars are being recorded and uh, posted to the Dynascape website, and I'll show you exactly where those are inside of our blog. Um, at the end of each webinar, I have been emailing out those that have registered um, the link so that you can go back and review it later at a time that works best for you. So if you weren't able to join us on the last couple of webinars, absolutely, they are posted, and uh, this one's also being recorded. So going to be posted to the website, and I'll show you exactly where that is in a little bit. And uh, there's definitely time at the end for some questions and answers. There's a question box on your right-hand side in the uh, control panel. Simply type your question in there. I'll be monitoring the questions that do come up and uh, try and answer them to the best of my ability as we go through the webinar. So we'll start off with our blog. And uh, this is um, where we post uh, some articles. Uh, and really, if you think about it, it's um, really full of uh, different design and business intelligence pieces. And so absolutely, Dynascape is a software company that supports the landscape industry. All we do uh, is software for landscape professionals. Um, but we think of it as more than just software. And um, as part of that, um, we either come across some information that we like to share with everyone, um, or we create some content that we believe is really, really important uh, to get out to the community. And um, our blog uh, is where a lot of those uh, articles and videos uh, are posted. And so just like this webinar um, will be posted, and here's a screenshot of the page on our website. And let me just take you there and uh, show you what that's all about. So here we are. It's dynascape.com forward slash blog. And uh, so if you don't know how to get there, if you just go to Dynascape, it's under resources. And we'll just go to blog. And that'll take you right there. And here we have um, the recordings of the first two webinars in uh, this series. So if you just click on that, and you'll see, sure enough, um, Here's the, uh, the first and the second webinar. You can just click on them. We posted the, uh, they're originally posted to YouTube and then um, to our website. And later on today, I will post this uh, webinar, the recording right here. So there's tons and tons of content here. Um, an article that I wrote uh, some time ago about sticking to your core values and um, looking at your culture. Um, our um, participation in the Association of Professional Landscape Designer Conference in Santa Fe, New Mexico. 
Um, so I went through and um, posted all the pictures and my experience in uh, as part of that conference. And you can see that uh, you know we had some really really cool places that we saw um, within the areas of Santa Fe and some of the uh, um, the tour uh, the garden tours that we went on. So. Uh, lots and lots of uh, resources here um, to help you gain some inspiration and those kinds of things. And, you know, um, posts about technology and how it's replacing the pencil, uh, 10 traits of a great salesperson. So there's lots and lots of great content here. And we want you to know about that because this is and can be a, a resource for you, especially during the busy time to either get some inspiration, figure out how uh, you need to deal with some people or provide some the right motivation. Um, so please check out uh, the Dynascape blog. Then we have our knowledge base. And uh, really think of this as um, a way to help yourself through an issue that you might experience, whether it's through Managed 360, Dynascape Design, uh, or Dynascape Color. Uh, some real great um, pieces here that have been developed by our client services team to help um, clients get through some issues um, really, really quickly. So let's take a look at the Dynascape blog and uh, show you exactly what's included as part of that. And anyone um, can get in there. So in, in our knowledge base, it's dynascape.com forward slash knowledge dash base, and that'll get you there. Uh, also under resources, on our website, dynascape.com resources, click on the knowledge base and that will bring you right here. Of course, at any time you can search for what you're looking for, but within Manage360, click on that button and sure enough, uh, you'll get um, frequently asked questions, how to's, and some errors and issues that are um, known and have easy fixes that you can do to get yourself on your way. Uh, the same with Dynascape Design. Lots and lots of help here um, going to uh, the frequently asked questions. And sure enough, you'll see you know, what kind of printer do we recommend. Um, I don't see my paper size. How do I help that? Um, why can't I see all of my images on my drawing? What happens when my drawing freezes when I try to copy paste? So lots and lots of help here. And you know, if we go into one, um, like why do my lines look hollow? So for those of you that are using Dynascape Design, when that happens to you, you know, we'll tell you exactly why and provide screenshots and walk you through how to get um, a fill back into um, your lines. And the same goes for uh, any kinds of errors and issues that you might be experiencing. So please take a look at that. You know, design crashes upon importing an AutoCAD file. There's lots and lots of reasons for that, and we've highlighted some of the reasons and uh, what you need to do in order to make it so that AutoCAD files don't crash when you try and open them. So again, that's the Dynascape knowledge base. Really helpful. We've spent a lot of time building that. And this is a living, breathing resource. We're always adding to it. We're always um, correcting it. So if we do come across something that we feel like the community should know about, we, should, we will absolutely post it here. And training videos. The Dynascape, um, uh, when you do purchase uh, either Dynascape design or color, a PDF of training videos is available to you. This is something that uh, um, we've uh, put together uh, and has existed for quite some time. And it used to just only exist on YouTube, and you kind of had to search YouTube uh, in the channel to uh, find the videos. But So if you haven't seen these, it's really important that you do, especially if you're using uh, Dynascape Design and Color. Um, so here we are. Um, this is a PDF of the training videos. And so it covers everything that you possibly need to know about inside of Dynascape Design and Color. So part one, critical concepts. How to set up a drawing. Opening a new drawing, your sheet sizes and scale. So if you click on that, what happens is it'll open up uh, a link in your browser and it'll go to that uh, site in YouTube 
and take you right there. So here we go. And sure enough, here's the video that opens, right? And so we absolutely go through that. And the best um, recommendation that I would suggest is when you are going through these, have the software open on one screen and the videos on the other uh, and make it full screen so that you can see exactly what's going on um, and follow along. You can pause it. You can go back uh, and watch it again. Just some things that you should uh, really keep uh, close track on. So each section has its own video, right? So each link is a different video. Here's important rules, and it goes all the way down. So part two is CAD basics, so drawing lines, using constraints and inferences and polylines, entity grips. So all the way through um, your squares, circles, and arcs, and how to create those with uh, different um, dimensions. Using the text tools, the editing tools, the trim tools. So we've really um, broken this out into um, pieces that you need to know about. And so if we go and look at this particular video about library figures, uh, we'll just click on that link and then that will open up inside of a browser as well. Whatever your default browser is, it'll go ahead and open it there. And um, you can watch that and you can see this video is 12 minutes and 42 seconds. Great bite-sized pieces that are available to you so that you know you can go through uh, some things, dedicate a half an hour to uh, a section. You know, while the video is only 12 minutes, you dedicate a half an hour so that you can go back and practice and um, master that particular section. All the way through, and if we keep scrolling down, you'll see. Okay, now we have uh, a way to um, develop an automated title block. Uh, title block figures and uh, explanation of what nodes are and how to edit your title block. We have a complete video on shortcuts and other tips. Uh, so some great things that you should really, really know about. Um, the shortcut for constraints, uh, constraints and inferences, uh, what the escape key does, what the delete key does, uh, how to set up your autosave settings. Even though you shouldn't um, rely on autosave, you should uh, save on your own. Um, autosave will um, save um, your drawing at a set interval that you uh, select. Um, selection of windows for speed, drawing settings. So, you know, in the heat of the season, which you're in right now, um, knowing how where to access uh, different um, uh, key training pieces is really, really helpful so you're not stuck or spinning your wheels and trying to figure out how to do something. And the great thing about this is um, if I hit uh, Control F, I can search for something that I'm looking for. Um, so if I'm looking for um, how to um, create a plant list, I'll type in plant list and hit next. And anything that highlights with plant list will come in and so then I can see okay this is a video dedicated to that then I can go and click on it. So make sure that uh, you access um, this PDF document. For those of you that um, do have Dynascape design you can access that by going to uh, the Dynascape website and I'll just show you how to do this. Um, so right here Dynascape.com, go to uh, my account, and um, we'll see that here, and can log in. And when we do that, it says, oh, hey, Joe, we're here. Um, and just go under downloads, we can see that the Dynascape training videos is there. On top of that, inside of your account, you can download the installation files for design and color if you have it, and the content site for Sketch 3D if you have that as well. So bonus resource uh, for some self-account um, management, under your subscriptions tab, um, you can um, see all of your subscription information. Um, you can see your serial numbers and uh, also address the, um, the activations that you have available. So if you have a computer that's died, let's say, you can uh, deactivate it from your account. So if I turn that off, this is the computer that I'm using now. Uh, if I turn that off, it's going to say, hey, wait a minute, are you sure you want to deactivate this computer? You can say, yeah, go ahead. 
And sure enough, now there's no activated computers. You can go and download the software and install it on another computer. One of the, uh, the real benefits of having access to your um, account on our website is to be able to manage the activations that you have with Dynascape Design and Color. So remember, under Downloads, you can get those training videos. Now, um, for those of you that have been a client for a long time, you may have our hard copy manual, which um, is an incredible resource. But it's hard to keep that hard copy updated from time to time. Uh, we'll send out um, the updated pages that should go in there so that you can print them off and include them. But what's really important is uh, to have access to the digital manual or the PDF copy of the manual um, for design and color. And that's really, really important because um, uh, I'll show you some things in a minute. Uh, having access to the PDF, um, it's fully searchable. And in a, in a, um, a manual that's got <laughs> over 500 pages, sometimes it can be, it can be hard to find some things. Um, so definitely check that out. And for those of you that um, use Managed 360 or are interested in Managed 360, there is a full uh, help library built within Managed 360. So I'll show you that as well. And we'll just go and take a look at um, the manual. And to access the manual, uh, you go to dynascape.com and under Downloads. So Resources and Downloads will bring you to this page. And for all of our manuals going back to version, um, uh, for Dynascape Design to version 4.3, if you have Quote to version 4.5, and Manage Legacy 4.5, and even uh, Quote Manage Reports Design, your manual is there. So even if you had some old, much older versions of our software, we still keep uh, the manuals there, as well as the user guide. So our Quick Start guides are here um, for Dynascape. Uh, the latest version of Dynascape Design for our older version of Dynascape Design is here and color as well. Uh, so please access those. Uh, for the manual, click on the 6.5 manual and it will bring up the PDF. And like, okay, so I said it was over 500 pages and it's actually 616. So if you're looking for something on how to do, let's say we want to um, trim a line. So hit Control F, type in trim uh, or trim line and we'll hit enter and here you go so that brings you right to page 239 trim or extend lines to another this line is used very useful trim tool and we'll talk you exactly how through how to trim a line so really really important um, resource that can save you a whole lot of search time uh, to be able to go in to that PDF, always have that available. Um, if you're not sure how to do something, hit Control F, it'll take you right to that and step by step walk you through how to do what you need to do. Now in Manage 360, so here we are at Manage 360. Um, for those of you that haven't seen it, there's a cloud-based application, uh, estimating, CRM, job tracking, production, timekeeping, reporting, billing, all of those kinds of things. If you click on your name after you've logged in, there's a help section. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And here we are. Everything inside of Manage 360 is here. So common features and usage. So creating views, editing views, page nav, sorting, searching, filtering, all those things um, will show you exactly how to do that. So you know when you're looking at contacts, here's all the things. So creating a new contact. So from a step-by-step -step process, we'll show you how to um, add a new account and add a contact to an account and what everything means and what the screens look like before you even get there. Um, you know, going into uh, maintenance estimates, so creating a maintenance estimate, editing the notes, um, going through and looking at kits and creating a kit. In one of our previous uh, webinars, we talked about the importance of well-built kits. So go through here. Anyone that wants to look at the help of Manage360, you do not have to have um, um, an account with Manage360. You don't have to own it. You can go to help 
dynascapemanage.com. So right here, help.dynascapemanage.com, and that will open up the help, um, the manual for Managed 360. And that can help you get to know and understand what Managed 360 does. Really great resource um, if you're trying to, if you're looking at um, implementing Managed 360 or you're currently using it and you forget how to do something or um, trying to understand what an implication of, you know, changing your profit margins, what that might do to your estimate uh, and those kinds of things. So definitely take a look at the help for Managed 360. It will definitely uh, save you some time in the course of what you're doing. Uh, and also, um, inside of Dynascape Design, for those of you that have it, in the Help button, um, if you click on Online User Manual, it will take you directly to the Downloads page on the Dynascape website to download the PDF manual. So right there, it's a direct link. So if, you're not, if you can't remember the link on the website, that will take you right there to get there. And then, of course, we have lots and lots of online training sessions. So these uh, online training sessions um, are available for purchase. Uh, so they're not for free. Um, we do have a trainer and uh, just a, an incredible uh, human being. He um, taught Dynascape software at uh, Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, California, for well over 10 years. and. Um, has just become a great, great ambassador for Dynascape. And now he lives in Port Angeles, Washington, and uh, on a part-time basis does training um, through our online training sessions. And um, we offer uh, a great assortment of classes and um, all available, um, usually the, the first, second, or third week of every month. Um, we offer those training sessions. And just let me take you to um, our online training page. And to get to this page again, it's uh, through the Dynascape website, dynascape.com forward slash online dash training. And to get there through the top nav, if you just go to dynascape.com, it's training and support, and then uh, click on training, and you'll see online training, on-site training in our instructor uh, biographies. And you just click on online training. And this is the page. And of course, training is worth the investment. You can achieve the excellence through our education. We have certified instructors. And it's super convenient because you don't have to leave your desk. You don't have to travel anywhere. It's all online using the very same method we have to deliver uh, the webinar to you. It's available through um, this method. And so here we have a Dynascape Design introductory course, and you just click on the plus or anywhere within that bar, and we tell you exactly what you're going to cover. So there's in the introductory course, it's 10 and a half hours worth of training. So three, three and a half hour sessions. We tell you exactly what you're going to cover in each session, and we tell you the price. So it's $695. And um, when you click on this link, It'll bring you to the Dynascape store, and here you can see the next time we offer our training. And so our next uh, introductory training session is starts June the 5th. It's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoon from 1 to 4.30 Eastern Standard. And it looks like we already have someone that's purchased a seat there. Uh, and here's the nice thing about this. We have a, a limit of 10 people for our training sessions. And this means you get lots and lots of one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor. And he can check in on your screen and see how you're doing. You can ask lots and lots of questions. So really, really uh, helpful, especially during the busy time of year, um, to uh, boost your skills. And if we go back, let me just show you some of the other courses that we have. We have intermediate, advanced customizing, advanced drawing and editing. We have a color, a Dynascape color basic training course. And if we look at that, you know, it takes all the mystery out of uh, going from Dynascape design to color, and it's a one-hour session. We show you how to uh, set up your drawing for color. Um, we go through the tips and best practices for doing that. And then we talk about the coloring process, so all the styles and swatches, the navigation tools, understand, understanding the layering system inside of color, um, using shadows and their settings, how to um, render soldier courses in color, and um, talk to you about the figures that require multiple colors. And so 
that particular course is ninety nine dollars. Um, well worth the value. Um, that is there. Uh, we also offer lots of SketchUp training. So for those of you that are interested in getting into 3D modeling, we have uh, one of the founders of SketchUp. His name is Mark Carvalho. And uh, him and some buddies in his basement uh, through a company called Atlas Software created SketchUp. And um, Mark has produced all of the training for SketchUp. Uh, throughout the years, and he is just, uh, I, I'm not sure I know anyone that use, that knows how to use SketchUp better than Mark. Great, great resource. We have SketchUp Basics, so if you've never used SketchUp before, as an introduction to SketchUp. Um, we tell you all the things that you're going to go through, and, um, you know, the price is really reasonable. It's $250 for a three-hour session with one of the best in the business when it comes to 3D modeling. So, um, not bad at all. Um, SketchUp Basics too, so we get into the site modeling basics. We even have a course on going from Dynascape Design to SketchUp, and so that's a three and a half hour session. We talk about preparing uh, the Dynascape drawing for conversion, uh, how to convert the file, modeling Dynascape line work inside of SketchUp, extruding uh, the site plan to make it 3D, and converting the Dynascape 2D symbols to 3D components like our, in our Sketch 3D product. And it offers lots and lots of time for question and answer. $275 is uh, very reasonable to be able to spend that kind of time with Mark Carvalho. And we also offer custom online sessions with Mark. So if all of these are you know, something that you're well versed in for SketchUp and you want to take your learning to the next level, we can set up customized sessions with either Dwayne Morris for Dynascape Design and Color or uh, with Mark Carvalho for SketchUp. So let us know, connect with us. Um, you can get a hold of us through uh, filling out the form here and just sending in, let us know the kind of um, training that you're interested in and we can set that up. And of course, our client support team. We're really, really proud um, of our um, support team. Essentially, they're the Dynascape help desk. They're in-house, so we don't contract any of this work out. Everyone that's part of the team works in our office here in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Um, so for those of you that are familiar with what it, where that is, um, we're directly in the middle between Niagara Falls, Ontario, and Toronto. So uh, town called Burlington, all of our people are in-house. We do all of our development in-house, all of our testing, quality assurance, and support all done in our office here. We're really proud of that. The folks that are on our team are super knowledgeable and laser focused on providing value to the community when it comes time to support when there's an issue. They're aligned with quality assurance, so when our development team either uh, provides a fix for something, a new enhancement, or a new feature, these are the people that test it to make sure that it works according to our standard. And, and so nothing gets through um, without ha they, them having eyes on it and going through a rigorous testing uh, procedure. You know, the odd time something does slip through the cracks, but we're uh, very agile so that we correct it right away. We have a queue-based approach, so whether you send us an email or uh, call us, um, everything goes into a queue, and from there we get back to you. Our policy is to get back to you uh, within one business day, and um, we typically blow that out of the water. Times um, like uh, now when, you know, we're in a, um, a period where there's a high level um, or demand for support, uh, and sometimes the, uh, the time to get back to you can take a little bit longer, but our priority is to get back to you and have your issue resolved. So um, please know that that's something that um, we take very seriously and uh, always want to make sure that um, the customers 100% our focus. Um, we're always with you uh, until your issue is resolved. Um, we've had um, instances where um, our help desk people have to do
do a remote connect session. So they'll actually uh, remote into your computer and see what's going on to make sure that um, it's something that we can take care of. And if our first level of support can't do that, we will connect you with our tier two level, uh, which is usually one of our developers to go in and have a look. Uh, so we're committed to making sure that the issue is resolved and uh, make sure that uh, you know you can be productive in a time that's most important. We do have business hours of operation, so we're uh, 8.30 to 5, Monday to Friday, uh, Eastern time. Um, of course, we, you know, we have clients um, all over North America and overseas, so if there's a time that, um, you know, inside of um, 8.30 to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday, Eastern Standard doesn't work for you, then please let us know and we will do our best to accommodate that. So here's a look uh, at some of our team. Um, here's David um, working on some issues that uh, client's experiencing. Um, and over here we have Ben, he's working at his standing desk. And here's David um, checking out our support queue. Um, we've got a couple of um, issues that are um, in the queue that um, he is making sure we get through so that um, we can get back to uh, the clients here and make sure that um, they're back in operational so that they can uh, have everything that they need to be productive and profitable. So today we covered the five resources you absolutely must know about. We looked at our blog, we looked at our knowledge base, training videos, um, our help section, our manuals in PDF, and took a look at our help desk. Really appreciate you joining us for our webinar today. If you have any questions, please let me know. My name is Joe Salemi. I'm Product Marketing Manager with Dynascape. My email address is jsalemi at dynascape.com. You can take a look at our website. It's dynascape.com. Or give us a call, 1-800-710-1900. Would love to hear from you. Feedback is most important. Thank you again for joining us for the 15 Surefire Ways to Boost Productivity webinar series. It's been a pleasure. If you have any questions, like I said, please get a hold of us, and uh, we'll do our absolute best. Thanks again. Take care. Have a safe, productive, and profitable season.